After two months docked to the manned orbital laboratory, the cargo vessel, the SS Richard Bong, undocked from the station, performed a deorbit burn, and burnt up over the Pacific Ocean, leaving the forward MoMA open for the next mission for the MOL station, Endurance 3. On October 30th, 1972, a year to the day of the launch of Endurance 1, the Endurance 3 mission launched aboard a Big Gemini atop a Titan 3M from Vanden. This mission would test the limits of both the crew and the capability of the station, as it was the first mission set to take a full year in orbit. After nearly 24 hours in its rendezvous orbit, the Endurance 3 approached the mole. Using the automatic docking system, the Big G docked at the forward Bulma without issue or human control. For the next 24 hours, 12 men occupied the cramped quarters of the MOL. The next day, October 31st, 1972, the Endurance 2 crew officially completed their six-month mission when they handed off control to the Endurance 3 commander, boarded their big G, and undocked. The Endurance crew spent 12 hours in orbit in the Big G, as it was the first crewed Big G to orbit. But then they fired their retro thrusters and returned to Earth, just off the coast of California. 
On November 30th, 1972, the first Hebe for the Endurance 3 mission, the SS Thomas McGuire, launched from Vandenberg. In the shortest rendezvous orbit ever, just two hours, the Thomas McGuire approached the station and docked to the aft MoMA. The crew unloaded much of the cargo, which included food, scientific experiments, and updated photography equipment for higher resolution imagery. The SS Thomas McGuire stayed docked for two months before, on January 10th, 1973, it undocked, performed its deorbit burn, and was destroyed over the Pacific Ocean. So long, Thomas McGuire, and thank you. The next heavy, the SS David Campbell, wouldn't launch until April 14th, 1973. David Campbell was a second generation heavy, designed to return back to Earth intact to allow for a return of scientific experiments and sensitive data. After six hours in orbit, the SS David Campbell approached the station and docked to the forward MoMA. Got it, 
Bought on the double camo. It stayed docked for two months, wherein it undocked on June 5th, 1973, and performed its deorbit burn, re-entering intact and splashing down just three miles off the coast of California. On August 13, 1973, the final Hebe, the SS Francis Gobrinsky, launched from Vandenberg. After just a single orbit, the Francis Gorbinski approached the station and docked flawlessly. Two feet. Right down the line. We do this all day. Soft dock. We've got a hard dock. Roger, hard dock. The Endurance 3 crew, and now at its ninth month, welcomed the resupply and were happy to be nearing the end of their full year in orbit. On September 11, 1973, the Francis Gobrinsky undocked, deorbited, and was recovered off the coast of California. As September turned to October, the crew aboard the Mole waited for the arrival of the next mission, Endurance 4, which would be the second year-long mission to the Mole. 